Hey guys, welcome to Planning with Crystal. So today's unboxing is the Selfridges Beauty Advent Calendar for 2021. So I'm so excited to unbox it for you today. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know I do a lot of advent calendar unboxings and reveals. And there's been some calendars that have turned up and I've kind of thought, I don't like it as much now, it's here in person. The Selfridges one, it's kind of the other way. I like it more than I thought I would. So yeah, I'm really excited to share it with you. There are a few issues along the way, which I'll also share with you. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So this retails at £210 and is said to be worth over £700. Now you may notice if you're eagle eyes that there is already an issue with the calendar. So this yellow circle that says S on it has literally it's hanging on by a thread so you can see they've stuck it on with the teensiest amount of glue and as soon as I went to open it it's just ripped the calendar and it's hanging off which sucks. So I'm hoping that that is just an issue with my calendar and that if you get it you don't have the same issue. I have emailed Selfridges to make them aware of it and a couple of other little issues that I've had but again I'll talk about that as we go through. It's a shame because it is a beautiful calendar it's done in this lovely kind of lilac -y colour and you can see in gold, it's got the outline of the Selfridges store in London. On the top of the box, it says the Selfridges Beauty Advent Calendar 2021. Nothing on the bottom and on the back, it tells you all about the products that are inside. So when I mention some of the issues, there's one or two items in here that are in a travel size and it's listed on the website in a different size, which is actually a full size, which I've got a bit of an issue with because it's almost like false advertising. So again, I've made them aware of it by email. I'm just kind of waiting for them to get back to me and let me know their thoughts. But I will explain what those items are as we go along. But overall, I really like this calendar. So when you open up the calendar inside, it's like a nice kind of plain lilac. And then the drawers are done in like a dark purpley blue with gold on the outside. So it looks quite nice, feels quite luxe. I'm just adjusting my light a bit just to make sure the lighting's okay. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna unbox it day by day. I'm gonna tell you what size it is, sample, travel or full size. And I'm gonna tell you how much each individual item is worth. Hope that will help you to decide if this is the calendar for you. Now, when I talk about sample sizes, you might look and think that's really big for a sample size. It's 30 mils, 50 mils, whatever it might be. I class it as a sample size if you can't buy it in that size. If you can buy it in a big size and they send you a smaller size, but it's available to buy separately, then I would class that as a travel size. That's kind of how it makes sense to me, but that's just a thinking behind it, just in case you're wondering why I'm saying certain things are samples. But again, we'll discuss as we go along. Let's get into it. So day number one is a little drawer. And I will say the drawers are quite a hard, kind of firm, decent, cardboard these are definitely ones you could reuse they feel really well made we get some yellowy tissue paper shredded paper which is a bit unnecessary but it's in there and it's bright and fun and the inner drawer is actually yellow as well so definitely feels like selfridges and that kind of classic yellow color they do so day number one is by dr barbara sturm it's the hyaluronic serum 10 mils or 0.33 fluid ounces so this is worth 85 pounds now I get the whole debate on, is it really worth £85? It's a hyaluronic acid serum, etc. Here is one I prepared earlier. No, not really. It's one that I already have open, the same size, in fact, just so I can kind of share it with you without needing to open the new one. But it is a really good hyaluronic serum. I personally wouldn't pay £85 for 10 mils of it, but it is really good. It's got a lot more kind of viscosity to it. It's a lot thicker than a lot of other hyaluronic serums when I say thicker, it doesn't feel thicker. It kind of feels like it's going on really quite light, but you can just tell with the makeup of it that it's just got that little bit of extra oomph behind it. So it is really good. I just don't quite think it's worth the price, but when you get it in the calendar, I'm excited to have it because it does work really well. It feels nice and refreshing and it feels like it moisturizes the skin for a really long time. So it is a lovely one to have. And it feels like quite a treat for day number one. Day number one, we're already getting into these types of products. Let's see what's next. Day number two is a wider drawer over here. And this is another one you're gonna love. So it's Charlotte Tilbury and it's a full size. The last one was a travel size. And it's the Pillow Top Push Up Lashes Instant Volume Length and 24 Hour Lift Effect. 10 mils on 0.33 fluid ounces. Full size worth 23 pounds. And I like the fact it comes in a box 
because they don't always, when they're in an advent calendar, sometimes you just get items loose, sometimes they're in a box. It's a funny one, really. So again, I've already got one of these, albeit in a mini size, but the brush is the same. So this is what the brush looks like. I've spoken about this mascara before and I do find, I don't know if you can make it out, but there's actually two different sides to the mascara wand. So I tend to brush up with one and then brush up with the other. And then you kind of get two different effects. It is a really good mascara. It's one I would definitely recommend. I really quite like that. So really happy to have a full size in day number two. Day number three, and it's a much wider draw down here and it is a hand cream now this is not a brand i know anything about it's not even a brand i have heard of before it's called parfums de mali paris and it's the delina hand cream in 30 mils or one fluid ounce now this is really expensive it's 40 pounds for this hand cream but people seem happy to pay it it seems to get good reviews so i'm perhaps missing out on something don't need another hand cream, so I'm not going to open this right now, but I will tell you a little bit about it. It says, enriched with coconut oil and shea butter, this smooth, non-greasy hand cream perfumes your hands with sensual notes of Delina. Its small and handy format makes it easy to slip into your purse. The ideal gesture for extending your fragrance trail throughout the day. And this retails at £40. It is a full size. They don't make a smaller one and this is the only size that anyone seems to sell so this is the full size as far as i'm concerned but yeah it's worth 40 pounds which is quite a lot that is more than brands like diptyque charge or by rado and they're pretty expensive hand creams so yeah intrigued by this one so you're definitely getting kind of niche brands as well as like more well-known ones like charlotte tilbury and stuff day number four so up here at the top and today is a brand most people will know it's nars and this is the bronzing powder in laguna which i suppose it feels a little bit like it's been done to death this is the color bronze you will always get in advent calendars gift with purchases etc but they have actually given us a travel size this is worth 17 pounds so there is actually a little bit of value in today and it's 3.3 grams or 0.11 ounces it's in this gorgeous nars packaging it's got a little mirror in the lid which is always good it's a nice kind of little size and this is what the bronzing powder looks like so it's quite a light bronzing powder it is one i've used before and it is something i can definitely make work on my light skin but if you've got darker skin you can definitely build it up for a little bit more color and i think that's the reason why they include this shade it is the most wearable shade and their most popular most famous shade so it's a nice one to have at least it's not the blush and i'm glad they've given it us in a travel size instead of just giving us like a small sample size which i've seen a lot in advent calendars so i'm quite happy really that that's in there day number five just down here and today we have got a sample this is what i'm talking about right so it's a sample but it's in a box and it's 30 mils so it's quite a big sample so this is 111 skin oxygen express mask regenerative it's 30 mils or 1.01 fluid ounce so they don't sell it in this size hence it being a sample but it's one of those it actually does seem to get half decent reviews 111 skin is one of those brands it's a bit hit and miss with the reviews but this one seems to be quite well thought of so it says following the global success of our multi-masking concepts because their sheet masks are brilliant 111 skin are proud to launch a collection of transformative wet masks for our customers who enjoy the immediate radiance and replenishment our luxurious sheet masks provide these potent liquid masks now offer a multi-use alternative for visible long-term results formulated with considered actives that address niche skincare concerns this sustainable manner of masking is the ultimate form of science-based self-care this one is formulated to encourage your cellular processes to optimize their function. This stimulating mask works to tone, tighten and refine the appearance of skin with oxygen and five potent complexes, all inspired by the effects of our signature cryotherapy technology. Sounds interesting. So based on the full size, this is actually worth £38 even in that 30ml size. So it's a pretty good value and a nice way to try it out without obviously having to buy a full size. So I've never seen a sample of that before. It's one of the few 111 skin products I've not actually used. Day number six, staying here at the bottom. Oh, we get two things today and they go very well together. So 
So these are by Aveda, 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 I think I call it Aveda. So these are from the Nutra Plenish range, we get a shampoo and a conditioner. So they're described as light moisture, which should be a good option for me because I have really fine hair. Um, they are a 50ml or 1.7 fluid ounce size, they retail at £9 each, you can buy them on the Selfridges website in this travel size. I've actually really been loving Aveda recently, I have discovered their blonde shampoo and it's brilliant, so I'm quite happy to have a couple of products from there and I do think it's a nice touch including both, so £18 for those two items together, like I said both are travel size. So it feels kind of generous, although they are travel sizes you are getting two of them and 50ml should last quite a while, so I'm happy to have that, I'll get lots and lots of washes out of it and see how my hair responds to it, so happy with that little combination. Day number seven and it's quite a big thick draw down here at the bottom and one thing to note this is more of a standard classic advent calendar in that the pull out drawers instead of like little windows or as is quite popular at the minute these boxes that you stack and they fall over when you get them out this one's a bit more traditional and classic and easier so I'm happy about that. So today we get a full size from Wishful and I've never used this product before but this is the Clean Genie Cleansing Butter 100 grams or 3.53 ounces. Gentle, simple, effective. Suitable for all skin types, suitable for sensitive eyes and contact lens wearers, dermatologist and ophthalmologist tested. So this is like I said a full size, it's worth £31. It's an interesting looking texture, so I was expecting a balm like the Elmis Pro Collagen Balm, that kind of solid texture, but actually when you open this up it's got like a funny blue, almost like a cream texture, and it smells like like an unscented body moisturiser. Now I know that sounds bizarre because why would an unscented body moisturiser smell of anything, but it's just got that sort of moisturiser lotion scent when they're not scented if that makes sense. I'm intrigued this gets really good reviews and it contains green tea extract, mala height and cherry blossom. It doesn't smell of cherry blossom or anything so I'm excited to try that and full size again it's quite a generous size so yeah I'm excited I was really pleased to find that in here. Day number eight up here at the top. Now this I'm wondering if it's in the wrong drawer because it's a Le Labo fragrance, which they recently started stocking this brand at Selfridges. Previously, you had to go to places like Harrods and things to get it. But it actually says on it, compounded at Selfridges on the 24th of the 12th, 21. Happy holidays. So I think this should probably actually be in Christmas Eve, because otherwise, why has it got the Christmas Eve date on? But anyway, so it's Santal 33. It's a 15ml or 0.5 fluid ounce size. This you can actually buy in this travel size for £60, it's an expensive brand. Now it is quite luxe, it lasts a long time, it's very distinctive. If you like it, you will like it. If you don't, you probably won't, you know? So it's got a little metal lid, it says La Labo on. We actually found one of these in the Liberty Advent calendar this year in a different scent and watch that video if you want to see a bit more about that but it's the same idea with the personalised label on it which makes it feel a little extra special. I actually prefer the smell of this one to the one one I got in the Liberty calendar, just personally I really prefer this scent. I'm not very good at describing scents but Santal 33, I'm sure there's lots of information about it if you want to do a bit more research, but it's a nice weighty one. As much as it's like 15 mils handy for putting in your handbag, because the lid weighs so much it's really quite heavy so it's not actually that practical for travel but I get why they're giving us a travel size because it's such an expensive fragrance. Day number nine and we're back here at the bottom with quite a wide thick drawer and today we get a product by Moroccan Oil. So it's the Moroccan Oil Treatment for all hair types, alcohol free, 25 mils. Now I don't think I've ever used this product which surprises me because it's been around for such a long time and is so well loved. So it's basically a hair oil but people swear by it, it's one of those that always seems to have got good reviews. So this is only a 25ml so it's actually a travel size but with it being an oil it should last quite a long time because actually you don't use much hair oil do you when you're applying it, I certainly don't. 
They do come in like light versions and things, which I would probably naturally buy if I was buying it for my hair with it being so fine. But this is the original one because obviously they're trying to cater for as many people as possible. So we will see how my hair kind of tolerates this and whether it weighs it down or how it works. If you've used it, do let me know. It's in a lovely little glass bottle. So this is worth 13 45 Day number 10 up here at the top. And today we have got a product by Sunday Riley. It's a CEO 15% vitamin C brightening serum in a 15 mil or 0.5 fluid ounce size. So this is one of those. I would class it as a sample because even though it's half of a full size, because you can't buy it in this size. You can get it in this size in like a kit. So you might class it as a travel size, but for me, because it isn't sold independently, it's actually a sample. But like I said, potato, potato, we're all a little different with that. But it has still got the pump style um, applicator there on the top. So it's just like having a full size. It's still in the glass bottle. And like I said, it's half of a full size, so it's actually worth 35 pounds. It is a really good vitamin C. It's got quite a nice, mid-weight texture to it. It's not too thin, it's not too thick, and it performs really well. Though I must admit, when I looked at the picture of this calendar, it was actually advertised on the picture with a 15ml CEO moisturiser instead by Sunday Riley. So it's been a little bit confusing. Some of the pictures that they initially shared are different from what you're actually getting. So definitely read the description, although there's issues in that description as well. So Hopefully that will all get resolved quite soon. I have, like I said, emailed them about it. We will see. Day number 11 up here at the top. I'm trying not to pull it over because it's quite heavy. So today we get something by Heyu. And I actually got one of these in my net porte advent calendar, I think it was, last year. So it's the Jade Beauty Restorer Facial Massage Tool One Minute to Self Care. So it is a full size, it's worth £42. It is sealed and I'm not going to open it because I know I've got one somewhere. And it just isn't the sort of product I end up using. I have such good intentions with these and they're great to do a bit of lymphatic drainage and facial massage. But with the best of intentions, I just don't end up using it. So I might well pass this one on, so I'm not going to open it right now but I will share on the screen a picture of what it looks like it is a proper jade facial tool it's not like one that's sort of similar or looks a bit like jade it's actually jade and which is why I think it retails at 42 pounds so it's one of those you'll either love it or be a bit like eh, like I am with it um it's a nice idea though it should work quite well with the skincare in here if you're willing to kind of put that time in and just learn how to use it and do that kind of massage with it. Day number 12 over here and it's a thicker drawer. So this is the first of the items where they've sent us a travel size but it's listed as a full size and this is the Malin and Goats Eucalyptus deodorant in a one ounce or 28 gram size. So this is the travel size. Now it was listed on the website as being a full size. I don't know what happened there. I don't know if the person who's written the description has got it wrong or I don't know but it is what it is. So this size that you actually get in here is a 12 pound value and it's a travel size, but we should like us have got that full size. If you do get the calendar, let me know. I assume you're gonna get the same items I am, but who knows? Day number 13 over here. And funnily enough, considering the back to back, this is the other product that they've sent us a different size to what I was expecting. And I'm really disappointed with this actually, because this was one of the products I was really looking forward to. So it's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder, 0.04 ounces or 1.3 grams. Now it is travel size and it is worth 22 pounds in this travel size, but originally, I think it was listed as like a 10 gram. So it had like a nearly 50 pound value. So quite a bit of a difference. Now it is cute and I am happy to have it, but the fact that it was listed as a full size kind of makes me less excited for it. So it's got a little mirror in it and this is what it looks like. And this is in the shade Luminous Light. Now I've got a few of the Hourglass face palettes that they've done in the last couple of years at Christmas time that have some of the ambient lighting powders in the fab. They just add a bit of extra something to your face, a little bit of extra luminosity. So they're not quite a setting powder. They're like something you put on over your setting powder, but they're also not like a highlighter. They just make your face look a bit more light reflective and a bit prettier and a bit nicer, I guess. Or well, that's the hope. Um, so the fab, I've just not actually got this shade luminous light because it hasn't appeared in any of the palettes. So I'm happy to have it. I just wish it was that full size. Like I said, there's been a mistake made somewhere along the way, hasn't there? But um, yeah, lovely. I just wish it was a full size. Day number 14 over here. And we're back to a bit of a larger one. Ooh, so this is by Laneige. Laneige? Laneige? Another word I can never pronounce. 
So this is the Lip Sleeping Mask in Vanilla and it's a full size, 20 grams or 0 0.70 ounces, worth 19 pounds. Now this stuff is amazing. I can never remember if I've mentioned it in my favourites videos. You never used to be able to get it in the UK. I used to get it when I went to the US on holiday, which has obviously been a few years. Honestly, you should try this if you haven't already. So it's a nighttime lip balm, but obviously you can use it during the day. So we've got it in vanilla, which smells incredible. Oh. So it's like a solid balm. And when you apply it, it just leaves like a light, thick kind of level of moisture to the lips. It's just brilliant. You can wear it under lipstick. You can wear it during the day. You can wear it overnight. It just does a fantastic job of moisturising. And how cute they even include this little spatula thing so that you don't actually have to put your hand in the tub to get the stuff out. So it's just so cute. I'm so happy to have the vanilla one. I already have it in their like original scent, which is kind of hard to describe. Kind of smells like a little bit like sweets to me, but this is the one I've already got. I've had it for ages and I've barely made a dent in it, but it is just lovely. It's, oh, it's just the best lip mask or one of the very best lip masks. And I think, Price-wise, £19, it might sound like a lot for a lip balm or a nighttime lip balm, but do you know what? It's brilliant and it will last a ridiculously long time, so it's well, well worth it. So I'm so happy they've included that in here and that they've included a full size because it's so easy with Laneige, Laneige, do a lot of miniatures to give away and things, so it's nice to see a full size. Day number 15 over here, and today we've got a product by The Ordinary. And it's the 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil for all skin types, 30 mils or one fluid ounce. So I've used this before. It's, as the name would suggest, a rose hip oil. So this is a lovely kind of hydrator. It does sink in the skin quite nicely. Obviously, depending on if you are oily or dry skinned is how well it's gonna sink in if you want to use it during the day. But it is quite a lightweight formula and it does do a fantastic job of moisturizing. So it is a lovely one to have in here. So it's a full size and it's worth nine pounds. So it's pretty affordable if you do want to like repurchase. So it's another nice product there from the ordinary. Day number 16, back down at the bottom here. And this is by Davines, which is a brand I originally discovered through Liberty. It's like a niche kind of brand, but obviously they sell it in Selfridges too. This is not a product I've actually used before. It's called the Oi All-in-One Milk with Raku Oil and it says all hair types multi-benefit beauty treatment 50 mils or 1.69 fluid ounces so it's a little spray style bottle and i've read a few reviews on this now i don't think this is going to work for my hair being so fine this is more suited to medium to thick hair types from the reviews i've read it's one of those it gets lots and lots of five star reviews people rave about it and then there's one or two where they're like it dried out my hair it was no good for my fine hair so that's why I'm thinking it's probably more suited to, like I said, medium to thick hair types. So it's a travel size and it's worth £16.50. Day number 17, back up here. And this is a little fragrance. It's by Replica, which is another brand I discovered in the US and then it started to appear over here. And it's the Lazy Sunday Morning, a reproduction of familiar scents and moments of varying locations and periods. So the brand is Maison Margilia, Paris, and this is in a 10 ml spritz bottle. So this is one of those where all of the fragrances are almost like moments in time. So they have one that's like a fireside one. This is Lazy Sunday Morning. They have one that's called Jazz Club, Beach Walk. So they all kind of evoke those sorts of scents. They are gorgeous. I don't find they last all that long on me, but this one is a really nice scent, They're quite a unisex scent as well. I like it comes in a spritz bottle because I find rollerballs a bit of a pain to work with sometimes. But it is just a lovely kind of light, fresh daytime scent, I would say. Now, a 100ml bottle of this would be £99 or 30 mils is 49 pounds. So in terms of working out how much it's worth, it depends if you work it out on the 100 mil or the 30 mil. So it's worth either 950 or 1633, depending on where you want to find your value with that one. Um, but it is a lovely size and it should last quite a while being 10 mils. It'd be nice if it was in a box. I mean, usually they sell the 10 mil, I've seen it in other places other than Selfridges, where you get three for, I think it might be about 50, 60 pounds for three of them. So based on that value, it's worth even more. So it depends how you kind of 
find your value with these things but it is a lovely fragrance and like i said 10 mils is quite a lot to get used to it and just see if it's one for you so i'm quite happy with that i really like the brand like the scent so it's definitely one i think i'll get quite a lot of use out of day number 18 over here it's a much thicker heavier one so this will come as no surprise this is something that has been found in pretty much all of the high-end advent calendars so this is the augustinus bader the rich cream with T tfc8 15 mils or 0.5 so this is the well-known kind of famous with celebrities type product it's in the discovery size worth 65 pounds just feeling a little bit over it because it appears in so many advent calendars so if you do get a luxury advent calendar this year you're likely to see one of these in fact if you got one last year you probably will also have it it is good i'm not knocking the product i just feel that when it appears in so many calendars it almost starts to feel not as exciting and a bit like it devalues it a little bit for me let me know what you think on that one. Day number 19, back up here at the top. And this is a full size and definitely a product I can talk a lot about because I already purchased this in this full size. So this is a tan look, super gloss, SPF 30, high protection, illuminating bronzing drops instant. So it's not a self tan, although I've spoke about their self tans, which are fabulous. This is in a 30 ml or 1.01 fluid ounces. Now, I have grabbed the one I already have rather than opening a new one. A little goes a long way. I've had it for months and I've just shaken it up actually, but it was down to about there. This is just a brilliant product. So if you don't like self-tanning, don't worry because it isn't a self-tan. It is a bronzing liquid. So it's kind of designed to be put all over the skin. It's in a dropper style bottle like this. It's got SPF, which is great. So it's not designed, I mean, you could absolutely apply it as a liquid bronzer if that's what you wanted to do. But it's also designed if you just want to put it all over your face to give your face that kind of bronzy glow. So if you buff it out, you will see it's got quite a bit of pigment to it. But if you kind of work with it or mix it in with something else, like I will mix it in with a standard SPF so that it's not got as much colour. But you can see it is actually kind of blending out and just giving a little bit of bronze to this hand that I've applied it to. So it has got SPF in, which I think is a massive plus. And like I said, you could just use it as a liquid bronzer, but ideally you would apply it all over your face and neck and it would also give you the SPF protection there. But I do think it's just a lovely product. But for me, like I said, I just tend to mix it in with my product, that my SPF product, just to give a hint of colour without too much because being quite pale, it can look false otherwise. But this is actually quite natural when you blend it out and especially when you mix it in with like something else or even like a moisturiser or something, it just kind of gives that kind of different effect to a lighter skin tone. Of course, if you're gonna do it that way and you're not gonna apply as much as they suggest for SPF wise, you might need to use a separate SPF, well you will. Um, otherwise, if you're just gonna apply this all over your face and you apply enough, then this could even be your SPF, especially in winter time. So yeah, it's brilliant, love it. Day number 20. Okay, so today we've got another fragrance. This one is by Maison Francais Kirk de Jeanne Paris and it's the Oud Satin Mood Eau de Parfum. So this is a sample size, it's five mils or 0.17 fluid ounces. It's really expensive in a full size. So even though it is a small bottle, I like that they've kept the same kind of branding and design because they don't always. So it's got a really long kind of atomizer, spritzy bit. It's not for me, it's a bit more, I don't even know what I would, how I would describe it. Maybe a bit too musky for me. I just, it's just not a fragrance that I like. Um, it just doesn't do much for me, but it has got quite a bit of a value. This 5ml sample size is actually worth £17.14, which should give you a clue as to how expensive the full size is. So it's a little bit of luxury, and if you like it, then I'm sure you will appreciate it. But for me, I'm a bit not quite right. But then if you don't like the other fragrance we got, this one will probably be your bag because they are very, very different. So yeah. Day number 21, just down here. And today we've got a travel size product by Ren. So this is another one that's appeared in an awful lot of the calendars. 
but it is really good. So it's the Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic in 100ml or 3.3 fluid ounces. I've spoken about it before, it is really good. It's a liquid exfoliator, but it's fairly gentle, so if you've got sensitive skin and you just use it once every couple of days, you should be fine. If you're really used to using these sorts of products, then you could use it twice a day if you wanted. So it just does a little bit of resurfacing, gives your skin a bit of an extra glow and boost. And because it's by Ren Clean Skincare, the original clean skincare, you know there's nothing kind of harmful or anything in there for your skin so you'll get nice results but you don't need to be worried about what else could be in there so this 100 ml bottle will actually last quite a while even though it's a travel size and it's worth 15 pounds day number 22 over here and today we've got a product by suzanne kaufman and it's the st john's wart bath calming 50 grams or 1.8 ounces so this is a sample size they don't sell it in this they might do it in travel kits i don't think they do but it's actually a powder which surprised me because i'm used to with this brand it being a liquid and they do have nice bath products but they're quite pricey so again nice to find it in here but probably not nice enough that i would buy it in a full size although i haven't actually tried the st john's wart bath the calming one if it works and really is calming and lovely then perhaps i would consider purchasing it so I'll put the value of this on the screen. Like I said, it is a sample size, but being 30 mils, I don't think you'd need to use too much. You would get a couple of goes out of it and it does come in a nice little glass bottle as well. Day number 23 over here. And today we get a candle. I love it when they include a candle in an advent calendar. There's just like certain things that I like to find. I like perfume, I like things for the bath, candles. As much as I love my skincare and beauty and makeup and all the rest of it, those things just say to me Christmas, winter, relaxation and the things I like to do over the Christmas period. So yeah, I like a good candle. This one actually, again, is not one I've heard of before and it's not one I actually like the scent of all that much. It's by a brand called Ex Nihilio. Paris and it's the Fleur Narcotique Bougie Perfumerie scented candle. So this is a 35 grams or 1.2 ounce size and it is a sample size. Full size is 55 pound but it's quite a large candle. So this is what this one looks like. So it's quite simple on the packaging, would like fit anywhere. I just don't think I like the scent. I don't really know what it smells of. It doesn't smell of a traditional flower scent, modern or otherwise. I just don't quite like the scent of it. It's worth £6.41 in this size. So it's not one I see myself using, it's one I see myself passing on to someone else who might like the scent. Um, yeah, it just doesn't do anything for me. I just don't like the scent of this one. And of course that can happen with calendars and stuff. You don't necessarily know if you're gonna like the scents, do you? But then when the package nicely like this, you could definitely add it as a bit of a stocking filler for someone um, or put a gift together with a few different items and stuff. So there is always that option, especially at Christmas time. Christmas Eve over here. So like I said, I kind of wonder if this should have been the perfume because it was marked as Christmas Eve, but instead, now check this out this is the problem with these shredded things they put in there so for some strange reason there is a big sticker on this that just tells you about the products and the ingredients now the products and ingredients seem to be on the box so i don't really know what the problem is unless the box has been marked wrong um but yeah it's just this paper is just sticking to that sticky label and it's a shame because actually today's product is really good it's a Pat McGrath Liquid Lust in Divine Nude 5 mils. This is exclusive to Selfridges. It's also the colour I've put on today so you can see what it looks like. Love the fact that it's exclusive to Selfridges. Quite like the packaging, it's quite sleek. And it's a full size. So this is 5 mils or 0.17 fluid ounces. So it is a matte colour and I've got to say formulation wise it doesn't feel dry in. It seems to be staying on the lips. It's not like going anywhere. So it's definitely being a good mat and staying put. But at the same time, and I've not got any transfer or anything, it feels quite comfortable for a mat. So this is what the colour looks like on my hand. This is what it looks like on my lips. So this isn't necessarily a colour I would gravitate towards because I tend to worry that this sort of shade might be a bit pale for my pale skin and hair and stuff. So let me know what you think. Is this a colour I can wear? I actually quite like it now it's on and it is really comfortable. And it is, like I said, no transfer. So you could definitely wear a mask, putting a mask on and off and still wear this quite comfortably. 
So this is actually worth £28 and it is, like I said, a full size. So it's a great value and it's a nice product to find in here. I've wanted to try something from this brand for a while and it's just never got round to it. So I'm really happy there is a Pat McGrath item in there. Okay, so Christmas Day and it's the one in the middle here. So first of all, we get a little card that says Selfridges Beauty Concierge, a special gift for you. So it's a complimentary 45 minute beauty concierge appointment. There's an extra special Christmas tree. Enjoy a complimentary beauty service at one of our beauty concierge locations in store or book an online virtual appointment to enjoy from the comfort of your home. It says from personalized advice to a pampering treatment, let our experts bring the best of our beauty hall to you. Please mention this voucher when booking your appointment. Merry Christmas, love Selfridges. So it's available at beauty concierges in London, Manchester Trafford and Manchester Exchange Square stores and you book your experience in store or online. So I've had a look online and it seems a lot of the beauty concierge services are kind of free anyway. You have to pay for the appointment but it's redeemable on products which kind of makes it feel like you're not paying for it and it's not got a value. There wasn't much in the way of a specific 45 minute treatment that I could see. They all seem to be longer if you were having some kind of treatment but I'll contact the store and see what the options are on that because sounds like an interesting one but it doesn't sound to me like it actually has a value so yeah the other thing in here and today's product is by milk and it's the milk makeup lip and cheek creamy sheer blush and lip color in a six gram or 0.21 ounce size in the shade work spelt w-e-r-k and this is what it looks like so i will give you a swatch of it as well so this is one of those multi-use colours, so you could obviously use it on your lips, you could use it on your eyes, you could use it on your cheeks. So it's quite a buildable one, it's quite sheer, you can kind of buff it out. It's not really got much in the way of stickiness to it, but you could definitely kind of buff it out and just give it a nice kind of sheer look on the cheeks. Or you could build it up and give yourself that extra pop of colour. So it is a nice product to have. For me, it's not the most exciting products in here. And I often think that I would rather they put the most exciting product behind Christmas Day and Christmas Eve. But that's just me. I don't suppose it matters. You're getting all of them anyway. It's just what day it arrives. But yeah, I think if I was putting a calendar together, I'd start with the smaller, less interesting items and build up to that grand finale. That's just me. So at the time of making the video, the calendar is available to order right now and it'll come, well, as soon as they ship it out. I got mine the day after I ordered it, so it's quite quick. There's no like, some calendars are like pre-order, you have to wait a while for it to come, which might not be an issue if you intend to open it for Christmas itself or December. But if you want to get it earlier, this is definitely one where that will happen. And like I said, it retails at £210, has a value of £700. I really like it. I like the products in it. There's one or two that I'm not as excited by, like I said, the candle one of the scents, but overall it's probably one of the calendars I'm most excited by and I'm surprised by that because if you'd have asked me this when I first started ordering the calendars, I wouldn't have said this was one of my top, but actually I think this would be one of my top. And obviously I've unboxed a lot of calendars this year, so let me know, would you like to see a kind of top five calendars that I love the most? or would you like my opinion on different kind of price categories or what would you like to see? Let me know. I mean, I've got lots of videos to make because I've got lots of advent calendars, but there's always room for new ideas. So let me know in the comments, what do you think about the Selfridges advent calendar this year? Is it one that you're thinking about getting? Did you know it was out already? If so, I won't wait too long because it does tend to sell out. I'll put a link under the video where you can go straight to the calendar and there are lots of other advent calendars I've unboxed if you want to watch them for like comparison purposes. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up. It lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm producing and I'd love it if you'd subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to be notified when my next video goes live. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.